impact on water bill. The federal government insists. The federal government on Thursday vowed to press ahead with the National Water Resources Bill now before the National Assembly, despite being enmeshed in controversy owing to opposition against it in parts of the country. Minister of Water Resources Sulaiman Adamu, who gave this position at the presidential villa Abuja during the weekly ministerial press briefing organized by the presidential communications team, asserted that the issue has been deliberately, deliberately politicized. According to him, the government has taken a definite stand on the bid to regulate the water delivery system, notwithstanding what he called misinformation being bandied about. He explained. We are still working with the National Assembly on this bill. I think probably they were so engrossed with the PIB and the Electoral Bill, which are, of course, serious national priorities, and they were not able to come to talk about this. But already we have done all the things that needed to be done. The issue that was raised, the technical issue about gazetting, had been addressed, so the bill is still before the National Assembly. Obviously, I have said so much about this bill. People have been deliberately misinformed. The bill was deliberately politicized unnecessarily, something that is good for the development of the country. And in any case, 96-97% of the provisions in that bill are already existing in four different laws. Water Resources Act 2004, Nigeria Hydrological Services Act, River Basin Development Authorities Act, and the National Water Resources Institute Act. The first purpose of bringing this bill was to put all these bills under one booklet instead of having four separate laws. Just consolidate them into the statute. That is number one. Number two is that Nigeria, like other countries in the world, has adopted the concept of integrated water resources management. And that is why today we are enjoying the category two UNESCO Center of Integrated River Basin Management that is based in Kaduna. It is a center of excellence funded by UNESCO to promote integrated river basin management and we are getting people from all parts of West Africa region to come and learn about river basin management there. So on the basis of that, powers that were hitherto vested in the Ministerial of Water Resources have been developed to the communities to stakeholders within the business. And what this means is that, whereas on the basis of the Water Resources Act that is existing, I as minister can't determine where any project can be put without any resource to anybody, recourse to anybody. Under this new integrated water resources management concept, we will have to go down and talk to the communities involved. We have to have their buy-in, we have to agree so well we will have to hold town hall meetings. We have to set up catchment management committees. The Integrated Water System Management Commission that is started with that responsibility was set up in 2007. This is the organization that provides licensing. You cannot get a license to have a power plant without a water license, right? That is what is happening now through the Integrated Water Management Commission. So this law also, there is a provision within the bill to strengthen the agency. All the people that are mining water have to go there to get a water license and pay a tariff if uh, it is gazetted by law. But right now, they are operating on the basis of delegated powers of the minister. And what we want is for them to stand alone. That means I can withdraw these delegated powers anytime and apply them myself. But if we have what we have provided in the bill, there will be independence as the National Electricity Regulatory Commission. They will not be answerable to the minister, they will be answerable to the people. And the bill provides that the commission will have members nominated by the president, cleared by the National Assembly. They have to be confirmed by the National Assembly and they will be representatives of all the geopolitical zones of this country. So we are democratizing the process, water resources development in this country. And some people went to town and said that we want to cheat people. The exact thing this bill is trying not to do is what is being fed into the minds of people. And I don't understand why. We've talked, we've talked and we'll keep talking. Well, we are committed to this. 
This bill, by the way, was drafted in 2006. The Buhari administration came in 2015. So it's something we met, just like our ongoing project. It's exactly what we met. We just wanted to continue where others failed too. And the bill went to the Federal Executive Council and it was approved in September 2016. The minister disclosed that seven states, including Bauchi, Delta, Ikiti, Imu, Castina, Kaduna, and Plitu, will benefit from the first tier of the World Bank 700 million dollars for specific water projects in the country he said the state will assess between 50 dollar to 60 million dollar having met the criteria set up by the world bank to do so the minister further explained some certain criteria were set up by the world bank and us and the state had to meet this eligible criteria and the projects are submitted into tier one and tier two Tier 1 is for, the do, is for those that will get a substantial amount, maybe 50 to $60 million for the urban schemes. Hmm. So the whole thing has not been finalized yet, but we are, what we have is approval in general for the, from the World Bank specifically for this, there will be some realignments here and there. And that is something that we are going to be working on between our ministry, Minister of Finance and the World Bank. The minister also said that the federal government is working on 116 ongoing and abandoned projects in the ministry, adding that 38 irrigation and water supply schemes and 37 dams and reservoirs have been completed. Okay. Mm. They say there is no going back in these uh, water resources um projects why would you go back you have achieved pib and electoral health nothing will stop you from achieving what our resources be it is all about what you want not about us the more you do as you want the more nigeria is getting to an end so go ahead and do whatever you want yes so the pib electoral health what our resources be let them have their say but to have their say will be an impossible tax. There will be no country called Nigeria. Minister, Minister, that was how they not disappointed themselves into misleading senators from the South South to vote 30% exploration benefits in favor of the North. Why still maintain only 3% for oil producing regions? The North want to be in charge of water got deposited in other regions. The North, an unproductive bunch of people. Any House member from Southwest, South, South, and North Central, Middle Bay, will give positive note so this evil be should be recorded immediately by the people it represents. Why would this be continue to be an issue when three quarters of Nigerians are against it? Keep trying, maybe you will see the truth. Looking at the way this mere mortal man is talking, I pity you. You are helping to push the country to preside. You will soon have war and there's nothing any of you can do about about it.